Oh, oh no. Ha <laughs> ha. But seriously, folks, let me ask you this. What goes ha 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 ha, plop, plop, plop? An audience laughing their heads off, but that wasn't that funny of a joke. An orange holding its breath. That's funnier than the audience laughing their heads off. Hey! You ain't funny! Bring back the other guy! Don't you get it? Orange? Breath? Plop? 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 Plop this, wise guy! So I, I want to know where the corn just randomly got this giant pumpkin to throw he's at been him. Sitting, it's been just sitting just on his lap, just in case he needed to get angry at someone. Really is he originally cool. brought it as a snack, but then he's also, like, actually... There's a pumpkin in the front row. Hey, tell me. Are you sure? No, that's an orange. Oh, sure, is that? But remember, sentient food versus non-sentient food. Thank you, thank you. All right. I feel so bad Next up is Tom like, Rudevega, the like knock so knock king. He has no talent for comedy, though, so he should not be a comedian. But they shouldn't have let him even be on the stage, you know what yeah. I mean? How about a nice hand for Mickey This Holiday, guy's the real star. Folks. Yes, eat orange. Like <laughs> pizza. Mickey Hollandaise in his great big floppy shoes! What's wrong with this guy's eye? There's cheese in the audience. All right, folks, check this out. It'll knock you right out of your seat. Knock, knock. Who's there? Omelette. Omelette who? I'm a lot funnier than Mickey Hollandaise is. It's a ha not even funny. That was kind of a clever one. Oh, a box top. And guess what, guys? Entire... We don't, we don't, we cannot help Nikki Hollandaise. There's this, an entire this herd route. of grapes. Yeah, this is not fun are grapes. they all individually <laughs> sentient, or is the whole bunch sentient? Hey, dude. Hey, is it all right if I take your pumpkin? Sure, kid. Knock yeah, for this out. route, you literally just have to go and take his pumpkin and leave. You can't help him. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We did it last time. We don't need your shoes on this route. Box top? No box top. Hi. I, um, I saw your act. <sighs> Tell me the truth. Did I stink? Yes. <laughs> We're leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you for your entertainment. You like that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love pumpkins. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> he just repeats the same joke, so Where there's nothing are we new. Going? Uh, let's go to the beach with the cupcakes. Your little cupcakes. These are all the girls I hated in high school. Oh, you know. Yep. <laughs> We're just baking, you, you know? know? Yeah, Actually, they're the, the same thought, girls that I hated in so, high school. So as a kid, I thought she said, We're just faking, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like she's fake, and then I realized she said baking. Boy, you guys look healthy. Yeah. <laughs> we know. I always thought the, the middle the muffins are in good shape and they're the just high ones, maintenance. I always thought the middle dude was a green potato chip as a kid. Oh, yeah. The water's on, but nothing's coming out of the hose. That faucet is leaking like this cauliflower is much bigger than the others. Well, we can't do anything with that now. Like the, dudes, the dudes are just like drawing hot baits. They're all leery. <laughs> they're all leery the from from Phoenix Wright. Oh yeah, Larry the Bus. We oh, have Lori's. Okay. I thought you were talking about Larry the Cucumber. Mike. I don't no. remember Larry the Cucumber drawing hot, hot babes. babes. <laughs> no, you missed that episode of Veggie Tales. It came out after. We, the hey, 90s. we can't we can't reference Ace Attorney in the in the family friendly let's plays. All right. Oh, all. Should we go to the right Ace or Attorney up here? Yeah, uh, up. Uppity -up, up. Up. Welcome to the foothills. That's like the classy area. <laughs> this is where it's like Blue Street and Puffa joins the parade. Where are, I've decided they're all rich. These, this is the area where like all the houses are at least five hundred thousand. <laughs> at least. But don't worry, those are very affordable on house hunters. Uh, yeah, <laughs> especially not, when you sharpen crowns for a living. It's not. It's not the one million. Like our budget's one million dollars. I work at a nonprofit. I work at a library. Also, I, I'm Tanya the Vegan. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can't. You can't reference Tanya the Vegan in case that takes off. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Hello, young man. How may we help you? I like how one of them's like a yoga instructor. Like, <laughs> Dance instructor. My name is Selma Salary, and this is my sister, Selena Salary. Hello. Hello. We teach dancing and etiquette here. What do you do? I think I think it would have been funny if they made the celery sisters stalk getting them to a big Get it? delightful. I like this one. Because the hair is cool. I do like their hair. Like one looks like a lawyer and one's like, I teach dance classes. How how fun. She's not a lawyer, she teaches etiquette. I know, but she looks like a lawyer. Also, they're not on strike, they're all working. 
Yeah, it's because people actually work at this company. <laughs> oh my gosh, and their headquarters is the vehicle for Star Tours. Um, that's a mine cart. Oh, it looks, oh, there's <laughs> wheels. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> if, it's just looking, if you just look at the gray part, it looks like the vehicle oh, thing oh, that we kills. Still, we still need five box tops, and we've explored almost all of it. I swear, if we left if it we, in If the we jail. missed one in the jail. Oh. Then we, won't, then we don't get to see him flex, but we saw him flex in the first playthrough. Work is good. That is true. That's like my boss. Hi, I'm Sam. Oh. They need to prepare that light. I, I see you've got a straw hat. Are you a delegate to the peace conference? No, uh, I'm the foreman here. I was supposed to give this hat to bean number 47, who is our delegate, but I can't. Why not? Because we don't know which bean is number 47. You didn't keep track of this? I was going to use the new BCS 4000 bean counter sorter, <laughs> but I don't have the instruction manual, so I can't put it together. That does sound like a problem. It is. Oh dear. Oh dear. I like his this, mustache. This was also a path I could not figure out as a kid because the other one is just like swap the swap signs. the signs. Easiest it's puzzle. Easy. This one is actually a pretty tough one. This one's more more steps. BCS four thousand. Boy, there are a lot of parts in there. Yes, indeed. It's a hopeless mess, and the instruction manual didn't come with it, so I've got no way at all of putting it together. <laughs> he seems like a pretty mild-mannered boss. He's not yeah, like, he's not yeah. like the boss that would be like, go work, <laughs> work harder, <laughs> study harder, study, study harder. harder. Uh. You might need to, uh, there goes that paper. That All might right. be important. <laughs> that was the instruction manual. He keeps stealing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, it's like, can't you just send a bean who would be good at, like, dip diplomacy to be the delegate? No, it has to be the 47th bean that we arbitrarily count in this weird machine. <laughs> okay. I get it. They love grapes. It's, also, so, it's very nice of Sprinkle no one to just lives wait in for the us. Foothills, it seems. Except the celeries. <laughs> also, I just realized All those... Feet. Yeah, the foothills. All of, an idiot. Oh all gosh. of the uh, beans literally just live at work. <laughs> They're like, in, in, it's like in Japan. <laughs> okay, to the right. To the right, to the right. To the, the creepy world. <laughs> uh, the creepy world. The blubberms. Oh yeah, you almost fall down to, to the middle of nowhere. That's the stomach, isn't it? it Maybe. Hey, coupons. Coupon? Elma celery. Garnet. Good for one free etiquette lesson. Hmm. Well, it's free. Heck yeah. Well, I would take a free etiquette lesson. They literally have to Ooh, give those away. Yeah, it's because they make it anyway. It's because most people can't afford to pay the people that are living in $500,000 houses <laughs> because they charge too much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, a coupon. It's a coupon for half off at Colmer's. <laughs> I would take that too. That would be great. And Marty, it's your old nemesis up there. <laughs> no. What are you all jumping for? It's not jumping, we're dancing. It's called the pogo. I love this music. Are they all soda cans? Don't you ever yep. get tired? Us? Tired? No, especially not at dancing. Yeah, because they're energy drinks. I wonder who that dude voices in other... I don't know. Yeah, we have a new room up here that was There's not there room. in the last time. I'm convinced that this is the stomach. This is this room is Marty's nemesis. So, <laughs> Gra you see her, Granny Smith, Apple, or whatever. Yeah, let's talk to her. Hello, I'm Pajama Sam. Are you one of the delegates to the peace conference? That's right. I'm Granny Smythe. That's Smythe with a Y, mind you. Oh, get so it right. Get yes, ma'am. You can't you copyright the brand of an apple. You your platinum pajamas, I do, Sonny. I'm stuck out here, and I don't swim. Never fear. It's hard to swim in Carmel. I'll find Apple's a way to get so to you. Though. They are, but you can't swim in Carmel. Nappy, no. would you? I'm late for the Mythbusters conference. Mythbusters proven you couldn't swim in maple syrup, so. Oh, well then it's gospel truth. Yeah, we can't save her, but once we get the right equipment, we can. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd just be like, yeah, we can't save her, so you can't beat the path if you do it this way. It's, hey, the plumbers, and they're actually doing stuff this time. Hey, plumbers. You guys are all plumbers, right? Right? Yep. They're plums and plumbers. Your plunger is really big, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Thank you for that enlightening. How come 
come you don't have a plunger like the other guys do? I lost it the other day while I was skiing. It doesn't matter too much, since I mostly just handle the paperwork anyway. That sounds like one of the less stinky jobs to have as a plumber. Also, yeah. hey, box top. That wasn't here last time. A box top. All right, we just need four more. I we bet you one is at the telescope. Look downstairs. We too. also will look downstairs. Also, there's some more stuff here. There's a wrench. If I had a wrench in me, I would wrench. wrench. Yes, indeed. Yep. That's a Shaftsman High Council monkey man with 30 to 300 auto Shoot. zoom and... What is that? Hey, are you in the union? The union? Uh, the plumber? No, no, cheese and crabs. Pay attention. Oh, let's see your plunger. Is that the same um, guy? I, I think so. I got a plunger. Well, then don't touch the wrench. It's the trained professionals. Okay. I oh, wait. He's also definitely in one of the Spy Fox games. I thought that... Wait, does the dude in the middle also have the same voice? No. Can I try out your plunger sometime? I don't think so. Okay, this I thought that the two adults equipment. had the same voice. I'm like, no. That kid's gonna have a weird voice. All right. What's this? Oh, that's just my old ski ticket. I heard it's so Cyrus now. You can have it if you want. What are these shapes marked on it? That's the route I always take when I go skiing. Oh. Definitely take that route. It leads somewhere good. I got one. Also, of the hey, right. can I take the lunchbox? Is that a pajama man lunchbox? No, this is the RX 1000 food suspender. The Cadillac of lunchboxes. It's vacuum sealed and it has a nitrogen based temperature regulator. That's cool. Pretty pretty what, like, so you can have astronaut box. food? No, it has to be. No, it keeps Inside, it cold. Inside, perfectly oh. preserved, I've got the ultimate. The best cheese sandwich ever made! Really? I love cheese sandwiches! What kind of cheese do you use? Feta cheese, of course! Nope. That's the best for cheese sandwiches. Okay, so no, well, it's not. That, that's it for this Let's Play. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. For watching. I'm Artie, um, and we will not be finishing this route because feta cheese is gross. We have to restart Have a great now. day, and God bless. Nah, just kidding. Let's All go right. down. Let's go to the basement. But seriously, feta. Ugh. Feta is like one of my least favorite cheeses. Also, Here's this path I could not figure I out. I hope I can find 20. <laughs> I really hope I didn't leave one in the jail cell. <laughs> and of course, everybody who's actually watched the video is paying attention and can just rewind. We'll be able to know if we can or we'll not. We'll know if we can or not. But All right, at yeah. this moment, That's a, This know. is a new room. That room looks sad. All right, we can't go through that room, though, and do what we need until we can get that wrench. So we need a plunger. Plunger. And then... Granny, can't we get Granny? Nope. We, we, we need to fix the plumbing to get Granny. <laughs> yes. Marty's played this game recently, you can tell. I, I don't remember how to save Granny. Okay. I don't think. But I know how to get some etiquette lessons in. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Etiquette lessons are one of the best parts of the All game. All right, we'll just shut up for this. Yeah, I want you to just savor the glory that is the etiquette lesson. Excuse me. Yeah? I have a coupon for a free etiquette lesson. So you do, young man. So you do. Come right in. Just grab this Table in. manners are the most commonly neglected rules of etiquette in these modern times, so that's what we'll cover in today's lesson. First, a few pointers, all right? Okay. Never rest your arm on the table while eating. Eat your soup with a spoon. Do not slurp it from the bowl. Never throw food at the table. Excuse yourself before making funny animal noises. Do not draw and poke holes in or set fire to the tablecloth. Standing on the table during a meal is not permitted. Eat all the food on your plate and do it in alphabetical order. Are we okay so far? Um, I guess so. Good. Now a few words about place setting. The dinner plate goes in the center with the bread plate to the left and the glass or glasses at the upper right. Silverware should be placed as follows. Forks on the left, salad fork, seafood fork, and steak fork. To the right we have the steak knife, seafood knife, soup spoon, cocktail weenie poker, swizzle stick, and mashy nibbler. <laughs> Dessert silverware is set separately after the meal. Any questions? Um, which one is the cheese fork? The cheese fork will be the one which is brought with the cheese. Oh, that's easy then. This concludes our lesson for today. Thank you for coming, and we do hope you'll consider us for all your etiquette needs in the future. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I 
have so many words, actually. <laughs> just... Now that now that I've worked <laughs> at a wedding place, like, don't set your silverware like that. Yeah, the golf club goes on the left, not on the no, right. No, no. You put, you, you put the salad fork on the outer side so that you grab the outermost fork when you eat the salad. Then you grab the that's the, the first meat. course. Yeah. yeah, so you work inside. The, the etiquette lesson is not actually real etiquette. No, that's but part of everything the else is pretty good. Like, you put the bread plate to the left. You put the glass to the right. You put... You have the cocktail weenie poker up there. And the sous stick. And the mashed <laughs> blink. I mean, if you really need... Also, you absolutely need to uh, excuse yourself before making funny animal noises. It's like, oh, uh, excuse me for a moment. <laughs> a bear is coming at Mach 1 speed. <laughs> exactly. I hope Pajama Sam is falling asleep. <laughs> Wait, what? He's like, I hate etiquette. I can't go he, on. I like how the lady's like, yes. Like, she's still smiling. He looks like... She's like, oh, I do love naps. He looked like me when I was, like, walking to class my junior <laughs> year of high school. I'm glad I learned that etiquette lesson. Now, now I know that I should not set fire to the tablecloths or stand on the table during a meal. It's very, we, very important. We actually did accidentally set fire to a tablecloth once in the, the dining room. In the wedding center. That's why you don't put more than Someone, two candles on a table. That's why you don't. No, that's why you don't put um an open flame under the uh, what are they called? They're, it's like a. It's some like a people crock are. Crock uh, thing. Some people are just a, a just a, a wee bit stupid. <laughs> yeah. Do, no, I that was declare. that was my coworkers, and then one of the wedding guests was like, "You do realize that like the tablecloth's on fire, right?" We're like, "No." <laughs> Get also, the, also, get the fire also in what your... world do you have to eat the food in alphabetical order in no order world. for it to be polite? Just, just eat the food as it comes. Because most of the time it's served so here, in Here's your pulled pork sandwich with sweet potato fries and applesauce. It's like you have to eat the applesauce first. <laughs> who, would, well, who would serve it with applesauce? That's a pretty common... Uh, pulled pulled for... pork with sweet potato fries and applesauce. No, yeah, that's pretty common. Oh, I would eat it. I just have never seen that. I uh, like so, be a so at, at, at Disney Springs, you know, um, Cooks of Dublin. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so one of the options was the hog in a box. <laughs> that it was, sounds yummy. Where it's like it was like pulled pork. It was like in basically one of those Chinese food containers, and it had like a bunch of stuff, and it had like pulled pork and potatoes stuff and applesauce on it. I probably wouldn't get it again, but it was very interesting. <laughs> also, best line. Um, look a sweet potato. Where is that? <laughs> I don't see anybody. Another sweet potato. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, it looks like she'd be hello, with that. Sir. Welcome to the A complex. Pajama Sam? Uh, yeah, when he blinked his eyes, he looked like she'd be real. Sam Gord. <laughs> Sam Gord. Gord. Very good. All right, let's I just go in. I'll just go on in here now. Uh oh, no box top. <laughs> I think we may have messed up, no. Marty. No. We can't I see him flex. Way around the world with this thing. That's like when you get a 98% on something, you're like, so close! So close! <laughs> it's permanently missable content. I even warned in my first playthrough, like, make sure you check the jail for a box stuff! And then That's because I distracted you with pro ZD videos. You were like, Oh, <laughs> Dennis, like short more dragon. <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah. And then we... So, uh, last time we could see Chuck Cheddar's balloon, but this time with Chuck Cheddar in a different place, we could see all the way to the moon. You could see Chuck Cheddar in space? In the balloon, Mozzarella. and not in space. Mozzarella cheese That's is one of the best. That's a good cheese. It makes sense. It's white. Like it's used on pizza. pizza. I love how there's a giant sign alerting everybody who looks at the telescope exactly what the, the cheese The moon is. is made out of cheese, kids. That's what we learned in Magic School Bus Explores the Solar System. If you go to the moon, not to eat it. Please don't. Don't. If you're actually smart enough to go to the moon, you know not to eat the cheese. <laughs> Imagine passing all the astronaut training and like hardcore exams only to be like try to wick the moon. <laughs> <laughs> only, only, only Kevin would do that. <laughs> Kevin weighed a 24 pack of crayons twice. Like he's brilliantly gifted. But he oh, has... hey, we missed the box top here. <laughs> oh, hey. Well, how did better? How about that? How many do we have left? We have two left. <laughs> Uh, maybe we missed the box topped on some other screens. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look extra careful. Okay, we got the one here. Uh, hey, bro, we answered bro, all of your questions. it's insane. 